This is the Aquarium of the Pacific Coral Reef Awareness Vlog. My name is Max Mercer, and I'm a sophomore here. Recently, I went to the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. The coral reef exhibit there is the largest in the aquarium and one of the largest in the country. I took pictures and have compiled them into this PowerPoint to share about coral reefs. Coral is not commonly seen as an animal, and yet they are animals. They can vary in size, but they all have a polyp, which they use to capture prey. The inner layer is separated from their exoskeleton by a jelly-like layer called the mesoglea. Corals add a massive pop of color to reefs without, with shades of purple, blue, green, and red. But the way they get this color is actually pretty complicated. A certain type of algae has a symbiotic relationship with coral, which gives it its colors and food. Reefs are a keystone support in stabilizing ocean ecosystems. A single reef can have hundreds of animals, use it for food, housing, or a place to raise their young. Coral reefs have one of the highest biodiversities for any ecosystem on the planet. You can find hundreds of species of fish, sharks, turtles, and especially coral. Coral reefs have been on decline since the 1950s. There are dozens of reasons that can all be traced back to humans. We have been sending around 90% of our trash into the ocean. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch has grown to three times the size of mainland France, and that's only one section of the ocean. Coral reefs take the brute force of the damage, with around 50% of all reefs disappearing due to humans. These graphs show changes in coral reefs over the past couple of decades. The first graph shows the global bleach bleaching events. These are incredibly detrimental to reefs and around half of all coral reefs have disappeared in the last 50 years. The second graph shows the biggest coral reef regions and then how much of those regions have disappeared. With each region, there is an average of about 10% of those reefs gone if you count all the regions. The impacts of reef loss are incredibly devastating, as over 1 million species of animals live in the coral reefs. These animals are losing their homes at an alarming rate. If these animals lose their home, they will die off and then cause a domino reaction as their predators will lose their source of prey. Do you know the animal that eats the most species that live in, live in coral reefs? Humans. Millions of people that mostly live in economically poor countries will lose their main source of food causing shortages of food all over. Without this food, millions of people will die of starvation. So, how do we stop all of this from happening? How can we prevent these tragedies from occurring? Humans have caused these problems, and humans can stop them by reducing the use of greenhouse gases and encouraging eco-friendly energy sources, we can slow down the ticking clock of climate change. We can recycle and dispose of our trash correctly, protect the drains from stormwater, stormwater runoff that flows into the ocean, and minimize the runoff of fertilizers. We can also make sure we use environmentally friendly modes of transportation by walking or biking. We can stop the coral reefs from disappearing. We can stop these issues. These are my sources and, give it a sec. Thank you so much for sitting through my presentation and that is the end. Thanks.